Hello guys, Chris here with the Show Me Me 5. Now this particular model is the 64GB version that has uh, 3 gigabytes of RAM and the Snapdragon can turbo up to 2.15 GHz. So I ran through some of the benchmarks I like to run on my mobiles and the reviews I do. And I'll just quickly show you the results. So we're moving now to the gallery and run through some of them and I'm going to compare them just in this video to a few other mobile phones. There's two others actually that uh, I have with me. So that's the N226.0.1 score. Not a bad score at all. Very good score actually. And here is the Redmi Note 3 Pro which gets under almost well a half there. So again that I mean this is quite a good score considering this is a $200 mobile phone. Not bad. And here is the Galaxy S7 Edge. That gets just under the Mi 5, the score. Now this particular version I have is the Exynos, or however you pronounce the processor name, version. It's not the Strap Snapdragon 820. So those scores were good. And if I have a look, uh, there's some of the minor details there if you want to have a look. And the internal storage, it's using UFS 2.0 storage, so no more eMMC, which is good because look at that, that's very fast there. For a mobile phone, that is, that is good. Very good speed. And here's the slingshot score. Good score. Ice Storm Unlimited. Another excellent score as well. And this is the the 4G that I tested out. I went into town and had a look at the... I'll get that to rotate around. The speeds there. Now, I was disappointed in the upload speed there. It's very slow, but it could have been down to network congestion at the time. I will have to test this again. I did test it twice, and I got a, a first time round. I did get a fast actual speed there. And this is the GPS, which... Um, was not really that wonderful. I mean, the accuracy there got the same as my S7, but the amount of satellites it locked onto was only 9, whereas the S7 locked onto 100% of the satellites it saw in the sky there and managed to get a full lock. And walking around, accuracy jumped between 10, 15, 20, even 30 feet accuracy. So it was kind of all over the place. So the uh, GPS definitely needs a bit of work there. I don't know whether it's a software or hardware thing, but uh, I'm not really happy with that. So this is the Geekbench 3 score. Not a bad score. I'll show you the score on the S7. I did also test that one out. So here it is on the S7 Edge. Gets a higher single core score, but the multi-core score there on the Galaxy S7 Edge. A little bit better there. Some of the minor details. Compared to other devices, the multi core score there. So, those are just the benchmarks I've run on it at the moment. I did run Epic Citadel's benchmark there, but every single test. It just gets 60 frames per second. It, it runs flawlessly even on the highest, the most highest uh, high quality settings there because it's running a 1080p screen. I think it's a lot easier for it to do that. So those are the benchmarks. This is just a quick video. I will be back with some gaming tests and some camera samples as well. So do keep an eye out on the playlist for those. Thank you for watching. See you soon.